Roberts won the draw. That's taken away. Great defensive effort there. And he takes the feed. Oh, what a save by Wagner! Past the midway mark in this period. We are all tied up in this one. Indiana's going to start with the puck inside the offensive zone. Comes up with the stop. Solid hit on the player, but that knocks the puck off his stick. Takes possession. Oh, here comes the boom. Uh, he's known for this, James. He is a disruptor. He can change. Look at this. Two on one. Here's a pass. Score! It's amazing and an emotional charge and what it can do for your team in particular when someone who scores it does the dirty work. They work hard, they're courageous in their play, and they exhibit the intangible. Pittsburgh's won it. Sends it to the middle, and he denies that great opportunity there. Steps across the line and on the attack down the right side. Shot, and that got cut up in traffic and goes off the stick. Slick feed. He's got it behind the cage. Slides it up front. Loses his balance on the play. Here's a chance in front. And that doesn't connect. Picked up along the wall by Romano. On the attack along the boards. Reads it. Look at this. Across the line. And it's blocked. What a sacrifice there! Indiana's gained possession along the boards. Pittsburgh's got the puck behind the net. Oh, and he had the answer on that one. Stoppage and play. Here comes a penalty shot. And here. Puck possession so critical in today's game and the official ready to drop the puck right here. There's the horn for period number one as it comes to an end. We've got lots more action. Two more thirds of this one to go. Stay with us. sum this one up through the first 20 minutes. The Demons don't need to change much, James. I mean, the majority of the possession, yes, they're trailing by one, but they'll find their way back in if they can trust the process. Indiana's got... And a smart heads-up play with the bank. He got all of that one. Pittsburgh's got it behind the net. From off the wall and onto his stick. Takes it to the net. How did he stop that one? As a goaltender, you want to make yourself as big as possible, and that's exactly what he does right there and just takes away the net. What a release, but missed the net. Oh. Well, you know that he's got such an outstanding snapshot here, and I think he had more time than he thought here, James, and uses his wrist to just snap it and misses wide. Moves around and on the half wall. The Demons have it now. Two on one, here we go. Truculence 
zone ability is that willingness to play that hard and heavy brand of hockey, guys. He can really pressure his opponents into making bad plays with a hard body check. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. Puck picked up by Lee. Moves it to the middle. And that's intercepted. Takes control of the puck. Now a quick pass to Romano. Takes the puck behind the net. And now it's grabbed by Romano. Excellent stick work on the play. Passes it over to Barch. Slides it across. Huge steal in his own end. The Demons trying to gain a step. Fuck it up. An easy pass saved made by Wagner. There's the whistle. We're going to get ourselves the penalty shot here. Tender hangs on. Going to the period, Pittsburgh's got a one goal lead. Well, that's one way to win the draw as he skates away with the puck after the two centers were tied up. Puts it on goal, and he blocks that one. Angles it over to Parch. Indiana's got the puck along the boards. Makes his presence known on the ice. Romano's crossed the line and is on the attack now. Centering feed. Oh, he comes up with a stop. Big time. One on one with the goaltender. He scores. And there's the hat trick. Three is the magic number. It's a magic number. He's doing everything he can to take the crowd out of this one as he's with the away team. But dominated, playing really confident all night long. Pittsburgh's now gone up by two here in the late going to the second, and this is a nice place to be here, Cheryl. It's exactly where they want to be, and they won't want to sit back. They want to continue to push right through to the end of the period. They've got that nice, healthy cushion. They don't want to give it away. And loses possession after a solid hit. All right, we've played now 40 minutes in this one, and still a critical 20 minutes still needs to be played. Go stretch your legs, grab that final snack, because the third period is just around the corner. truth has arrived for both these teams. Third period action set to go. All right, the puck is dropped on the third and final frame. 
Well, two periods down. Here we go with the third period. Cheryl, your assessment so far. The Assassins are in the lead in the third period. It's been an entertaining game of hockey, but it's all about the offense and how much you can generate sky-high numbers off the charts, but zero defensive metrics on display. Indiana's had a lot of good looks on goal, but they still trail early in the third. Sneaks away with the puck after he was tangled up on the draw. Slides it diagonally to Parch. Great pressure forcing the turnover. Monster save by Wagner. Well, that shot came quick and it was right out front. He had to be sharp. He had to be right on it and show his brilliant reflexes. Still plenty of time left in this frame. The Assassins lead at 4-2. Pittsburgh's got a hold of the puck. A chance on the rush here. Beats it over. Disappointing result as they can't complete the rush. And that's out of reach and out of the offensive zone. Grabbed along the board by Lee. Tremendous hip check on the play. Puck scooped up by Romano. From the point, they take control of it. Pittsburgh's got possession at center. Drives to the paint. Big save by the goaltender watching that one. That's a great save, but the goaltender had to get out to the top of his crease, take away all the ice, and make himself as big as possible. And he uses his trapper to snare that one in his chest. Nearing the midway mark of the period, it's 4-2. Indiana's got the puck after winning the defensive zone faceoff. Now he takes it over the line. To his teammate! Comes up with the stop. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. Both centers ready to take the draw here coming up. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. Takes the pass as he banks it off the wall. The official stops the play. More than half the frame has been played here. Pittsburgh's doubled up on them. It's now 4-2. And they take control of the puck here in the neutral zone. From the right wing, he moves it to the middle. He's got a step. Tremendous defensive play. Well, that's all about... Here he is, all alone. with that one. He does the work to get to that position on the breakaway, James. And then the pressure is on. You know you don't get these opportunities all the time. A golden one it is, and he cashes in. What a counterattack and brilliant speed to get on his horse and get in on the breakaway, James. And that momentum, it carries right through on his shot, and he puts it home. At center ice now, he grabs the puck. Takes a shot. Scooped up along the wall by Romano. He might have a step here. All alone. But not he's in on the breakaway. Indiana's looking to break out. And he takes the pass. Oh, he's saving. Oh, my goodness. What a stop. Oh, that's unbelievable, James. I have no idea how he got to that pocket. Some... Oh, what a save. Oh, that doesn't swing the mention in your face. To count the official waved it off immediately. Oh boy. In the final moments of this period. And they win that draw at center. Here's a shot. Here's a shot. Look save.
Indiana's time is running out in this one to try to even things up. They've had plenty of scoring chances, but no finish tonight. Pittsburgh's got it in the defensive zone. And here's a pass to Barch. Broken up in the neutral zone by Romano. Big time save by Wagner. Barch has been feeling it out there. The puck's been on his stick and he's just filling the net in the crowd. They certainly don't like it. They're frustrated with their team. All in all. Oh, how did he get a club on that? What a stop by Wagner. A timely save is everything to your team. And this goaltender, he bails his team out. Both teams gliding into position, and the official set to drop the puck. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Here they come on the attack down the left side. Indiana's got the puck along the wall. Picking up ahead of steam on the breakaway. Takes it right in the chest. Wagner's got it, and I think there's a little strategy involved as he opts for the whistle. Well, yeah, I think he needs a rest, but it's also about game management. Listen, the only reason why they're winning this game is because he has been electric and dynamic between the pipes. The Demons take possession here inside the offensive zone. Indiana's got the puck against the boards. Breakaway! Oh, 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 breakaway! Oh, he came up clutch there! Well, he really did. Beat the shooter, and that's exactly what he does. Offense is on face off, and he wins the draw. Here we go. Break away. That's it. There's the final horn to close this one up. This is one of those games where you could probably look at and go, the numbers lie here, Cheryl, because I don't know if the right team won. Analytics don't always tell the story. Sometimes it's the eye test, and I'm telling you, they had a great counter punch and were opportunistic. It's the reason why they won the game. to a conclusion and we will say goodbye she's cheryl pounder my name is james sabalski thanks for joining us from all of us here at ea sports good night
Welcome back to EA Sports, everybody. My name is James Sabalski. We are about to drop the puck on some three-on-three -three hockey. Two teams looking stark for a win. And we are set to go. And after a full day of waiting, we are officially underway here tonight. Tommy's got it along the wing. Here they come, down the right side and on the attack. Oh, trying to shake the defender. Scores! What a goal! Minneapolis came with a purpose tonight, and look at this, they've got the lead. Sometimes when you're the away team, you just want to get through the first five to ten minutes and settle into a game, but they found their legs right off of the faceoff, and they're rewarded with a goal, really dictating the pace in this one. Nice zone entry from the left. Makes the save. Well, this is just a sick set of skills and some unreal movement to take it to the net. I mean, you got to have hands, you got to have feet, and you have to have IQ. He has it all, but he can't finish because the goaltender makes a real nice save. Gains the zone along the right wall. He grabs the puck here at the point. Transfers! He scores! And someone's heating up with his second of the night. Yeah, I expected he's going to be looking for the Hattie because he's been all around. The paint tonight, James, is showing off his skill set. You get these grade-A scoring chances nice and tight to the net. you got to find a way to convert on it, but you have to be aware of where the goaltender is. You don't have much time. You have to have quick hands, but you have to find the back of the net when there's not much room. Minneapolis can build on this lead here with still plenty of time to go here in the first. And off the face-off, they take possession. Oh, and they'll be forced to start over from center as the puck leaves the zone. Shot! Stupendous blocker save by Wagner! And is it on net? There's another stop! That's a fantastic sequence of saves there. James, he was so dialed in, he tracked it perfectly. Big save by the goaltender! Positioning to break up the play. Indiana's got the puck against the half wall. Misses! Sometimes when you have the puck on your stick in a primetime scoring area, it's not about threading the needle. And when you try and thread it, sometimes you miss. And that's what happened there. Jomi's looking to complete the hat trick. He's got two in the game. He's looking for his third. And that one's denied! Loves the puck into the corner of the offensive zone. Indiana's got a hold of the puck now. The Mighty Ducks get a hold of the puck. Quick pass to Romano. He's got a step. Makes the save. Oh, and this is a great save. You can see this one-on-one -on -one battle. And the goaltender is so dialed in, tracking, and makes that save. 
On the left side, it moves to the middle of the ice. Stops him cold. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. For this period, the Mighty Ducks lead this one 2 zip. Oh, and he takes possession of the puck from off the wing with the centers all locked up there off the draw. Sends one up to Joby. Along the half wall with the puck. Takes the shot. Glorious stop by the goaltender. Oh, wow, another great stop. You can certainly tell that the goaltender is dialed in on that last sequence of saves, James. He's to position, so he finds a way to make multiple saves back-to-back. -back. Some last-second communication with the D as centers get ready to drop the puck. Indiana's got the win off that draw. Less than a minute to go here in the opening frame. Right in the slot, and it goes just wide. Well, it goes wide, but the puck is finding, and James is getting to the right place at the right Time. If he continues these habits, that goes up the post and stays out. That'll do it for period number one. We'll drop the puck on the second period in just moments. Well, let's see what period two has in store for us as they are about to drop the puck. Second frame is underway as the puck is dropped. Handles the pass. Minneapolis tries to break out from their own end. Here we go, on man rush. Oh, he got huddled by Lehman. Well, this is an incredible save, James. It's anticipation as well. Recognize that the shooter is in the low slot, getting in front of it and making the save. Minneapolis, he's got a little jump. He's clear. Stones him on the breakaway. Moves it to Joby. Stops it again. Well, he has been under siege. I'm loving his compete level. I mean, he's making consecutive saves one after another. And that pass goes off a stick. The home team is brilliant. Stop. here on the road. Well, old hat for him in a way because it's a business-like approach as oh. he's on the road. He just says, yeah, just bring it. I mean, gets a hattie to boot. Well, the game is played at such a high rate of speed, James, that you have to make decisions quickly, but there's a lack of coverage and a huge defensive miscue that leads to this goal. And they've got the puck after that neutral zone faceoff. And that nullifies that threat for the moment. Oh! Hip check on the old school variety. Beautiful. Fires it on net. Oh, what a save with the club by Wagner. Well, the goalie has to make a great save here because he gets the look he wants, and he's one of the best shooters in the game in terms of a quick release, and he's accurate. And that one's turned away. Hold on, hold on. Minneapolis looks to break out in their own end. The Mighty Ducks have had an answer for everything that their opponent has sent their way. Any type of adjustment, they had an answer for. There's a shot, and not much on that one. Does it again with. 
with the stop. Well, you know that he's a fierce competitor, and he battled to make consecutive saves there, James. Up along the wing. They gain possession here inside the neutral zone. Beautiful read in the defensive end. Two on one. Here we go. Here's a pass. Oh, fantastic save and crushes a... Minneapolis gains a hold of the puck against the boards. Takes the puck. Here he is. Scores! And look at this. Suddenly, they're right back into it. I really like their response here, James. They're able to capitalize on the opportunity, and it gets them within two. And this two-goal deficit, it almost feels like there's a little hope now in the game. And if they can get one more, you'll recognize that the momentum will completely shift. Grabs the puck in the defensive zone. tonight, James. I mean, look at his save percentage. He's been excellent between the crease, and that's making the saves that you need to and you want to at the appropriate moment. Man, his team has been effective going north. Moves the puck along the half wall. Here's an offensive chance. Picked up along the boards by Domi. Oh, look at this! Here comes the penalty shot. Been a fun night in the barn as we bring an end to period number two, and there's still 20 more minutes of action to go here in regulation. Third period. Don't go anywhere. No, I mean, how many more 
going to come now. James, the floodgates have opened. Well, they opened a long time ago, but that puck is following him around, and every chance he gets, he's bearing it. Minneapolis players were saying earlier this morning that they wanted to create more offense. They have done just that, and they lead here in the third. Grabs the puck at center. Takes the feed. And he makes the save. It's incredible what an amazing shooter he is, James. He can change the angle of his shot at will. He's one of the best in the leagues at it. But this time, the goaltender read it and made the save. Feeds it on over to Romano. Big play inside the defensive zone. Into the offensive end, right up the middle. Here he is with the backhander. Made the stop on the play. A player should never be left alone in the slot, but man, is the goaltender to task here. Gets out in front of it and makes the save. You got scum, man. Stopped by the goaltender. Oh, what a hit check. He got all of that. Answered the call there. Denies him again. They are really pouring on the pressure here. Moves it to the half wall. Oh, there's a hit on the play. Moves it behind the net. There's a collision. Takes it in the corner. Drive it to the net. Time hit. Well, this is a message sending hit, isn't it? When you get all of your opponent and you're able to separate the body from Buck, you know you've done your job. Message delivered. The Mighty Ducks have been a lot of fun to watch tonight. Lots of offensive scoring chances, and they have capitalized late here in this third. Taken along the wall by Lee. He's got a step. Oh, and I think he got confused what he was going to do there. You can see him looking at the goaltender, whether he's going to shoot or deep and run. Plays it in on the breakaway. Oh, stop. Oh, that would have been huge. Well, it would have been late in the third period here, James. You know you're in a tight game. You don't get these opportunities often on the breakaway. He cannot believe he missed. Here in the late going to the frame, the Mighty Ducks have some breathing room as they lead by a pair. It's 4-2. And off the draw, they win possession. Thunderous hit check on the play. Approaching the final minutes of regulation. Breaks up the pass in the defensive zone. Shot. Here's a shot. Oh, and he steps up with the glove to stop that one. Play set to resume with the faceoff ready to go. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. Works it across to Domi. They've got numbers. And that one doesn't go. What a save. Well, the goalie makes a huge save at a critical point in the game. But for the shooter, you have to find a way to convert as you run down the stretch. And they take possession after the defensive zone faceoff. Teams going at it head to head. It's a close game, and you got to find a way to execute in particular when you get those golden opportunities. And that's all she wrote from this one here tonight. The Mighty Ducks really came through in the clutch when it mattered tonight, Cheryl. Yeah, they really did, James. And it's really important that they executed when they had the opportunity, and then they shut it down in their own zone in particular.